just finished shooting a movie called Chicago Mirage uh, about Arab American Boston 911. It's about this doctor, dentist, very well known in the community, get arrested for something he didn't do. He spent 10 years in prison and the beginning of the movie is the first day he's coming out. And the movie takes place in the first 12 hours of his life outside. Being in jail and, and experiencing all the trauma and the hardships that he encountered, he comes out wanting to seek maybe revenge on society for putting him in that situation. So he decides, well, I did the time, now let me do the crime. But there's a little bit of tension between his inner feelings about whether or not he should take this route or take care of his family for his son that he never seen for 10 years and his wife and members from the community. For example, Esed the boss, he plays a positive role and he tries to influence him to go on the right track. We are not what we were 10 years ago. We are united today by business. We all own businesses. We're doing business together in our community. The other character, which is played by Wasfi's role, takes him in the negative line, so we don't know which route he's going to take. It's a good movie about inner struggle and, and what to do, what not to do. Okay, I'm ready. We have a strong community here in Chicago, much stronger than you've experienced. And we want to keep it that way, keep things positive. Say it is brilliant. I was really touched by the fact that he uh, called me to be a part of this because I've always looked up to him from the very beginning of me starting out as an actor. I've always looked up to him. I've, I uh, remember calling him, um, you know, when I first started out there, and, and he gave me a lot of advice. And he's always been a pillar of our community out there. And uh, so for, for it to come full circle like this is awesome. He's very talented. I mean, whether he's directing from the outside or he's acting, and you'll see in, in some of the uh, scenes there how, you know, how strong his emotion is. I'm very happy with how it all turned out. Uh, I guess it exceeded all my expectations, you know. I didn't think it was going to be as big as a production as it, as it is. I had 10 years old kid, I never hold him in my hand. When they arrested me, I was on the top of my game. I was the best dentist in Chicago. I'm not a guy who want to do fluffy movie. I don't know how to do you know, fluffy movie, something, you know, I can do comedy, yes, but I want something cinematic. Hollywood seems so far away from us, so, so far out of reach. Um, but it's, it's, it's really not. And, and the thing is, too, is that our culture loves film and television. It's a denial to say that they don't love it. In our community, even in, in Hollywood and abroad, I mean, it's, it's, we want to make our own films. We want to change, maybe, in the future, some of the stereotypes I think we have with our people. And we're all stereotyped. You know, the question is, how do you get out of that stereotype? So I guess the way to get out of it, I would say, is to kind of show them our true side, who we really are as a, a people. We have an amazing culture. Hopefully we show a little of that in this movie and it comes out and uh, people see that. It's an opening for future um, other opportunities and projects. And I hope that the community sees it and recognizes it and once it's premiered i think that people's eyes are going to be opened and they're going to realize that they're going to want to be a part of it I want them to be uh, definitely proud. Hey guys. <laughs> this is my man. Without him, it wouldn't be Chicago Moran. Yes, okay. I well, uh, there you go. See what I was talking about earlier? <laughs>